okay so today we won't have an usual tutorial because i'm not going to show you how to design and make this particular small bezel but i'm going to give you five ideas of how to incorporate this bezel or any other bezel into something bigger to create a complex necklace or pendant or something else so i have here my stash and i made this bezel in five different colorways and i'm going to sketch and inspire you so come closer let's start let's start from the right here we have warm green light blue basil so before i was thinking that those beautiful seraphinites could work but now i see that they are maybe a little bit too cold by tone you can see some emerald in them and here is more peridot warmer ones so let's rather use labradorites perfect choice and maybe it's better to add one smaller one so we have this asymmetry interesting uh, composition in there and i have one that has blue in it and one with green and uh, yellow so a perfect match for this one so for the composition i was thinking to choose the one like the heart shaped pendant so stones are going to stay on the top here we will have the chains and then uh, the bezel from below uh, the caps let's uh, draw the sketch i will take this aside open my sketchbook so every time when i do the sketch i draw an axis line because i uh, like to know that my design is balanced and let's say we have our focal in the center of this axis line so this is our bezel any other bezel as uh, we talked before and here we have two stones two cabochons smaller one and the bigger one like this let's say like this you can of course also place them outwards like this so they could be had it with this uh, pointy edges outwards but let's do this time inwards so you do the bezel you can do the simple one or more complex one you can do for example the complex one for the bigger stone and then more simple peyote bezel for the smaller one or opposite if you want to you know um, balance both of them so if this one has a simple beauty basil this one can be more lacy maybe using some chaton montes or some bicons and so on so we are talking about bead embroidery so it's not bead weaving we are actually doing the embroidery so we have some sort of layout behind and then we are building the composition on the top of this felt um, any other embroidery material so then i think the interesting uh, thing here would be to make this part more like rich to add some details some elements so let's say i will draw some elements like this so what are those uh they can be um, maybe herring bones uh that are had it in, the, in that directions uh maybe out made out of delicas you can add some um stripes with um pearls or bicons in different directions you can also connect them this way like you know like a chain links like a connections this way with your um cabochons in the ear like they can be beaded it's not like embroidery but they can be beaded added and below we will definitely need something to balance this heavy composition on the top so maybe we are uh, adding again some 
a chains um, with the different elements it can be um, some pendant hanging some chains just you know metal chains without any components on them so something like this and of course on the top we also want to link this design um, being able to wear it as a pendant so again here you can do a bit of chain you can do um, some uh, chain with the pearls or uh, the jump ring when you're doing the edging stitch on the side and then to add um, on the top sorry to add it on the top uh, as a metal chain of course this design needs to be cut out before adding all those embellishments as those ones and the chains so first of all you do the embroidery you uh, decorate your edging stitch and then you finish it with all those hanging elements so this is our design number one and you can now see my variation of this design i made it before this is how it looks so now we are ready to move to the next one let's talk about design number two here i'm working with this crystal with some amethyst and nice rose shades of bicons and crystals so i was thinking to use this beautiful cherite i have just look at this interesting texture of it so something bigger make sure when you are building your composition that elements are um, balanced in sizes for example i can't be using something small like this because you can see that uh, the bezel is too heavy too heavy for this size of the stone for example if i would be using something smaller uh, like this so if it would be a Rivoli bezel, then it makes more sense. Now they are talking, they have a conversation. It's not like one is yelling on another. So of course you uh, have to be careful when you're choosing the sizes of your components. So here I was thinking to do the radial composition. That means that everything is going to be headed out of the center of my bezel so uh i think that here i have some uh also some other interesting caps maybe this one is too warm i like this one too plus i have here add, uh, one more so um this one i think is too heavy this one it's a little bit out of the color uh way and uh, this one is not that bad so maybe we could be working with this one and then it would be nice to add some crystals or something um in a pear shape uh extra you could go with the more um caps if you have something different you can see now it's too much too too many different shapes it's uh, something in blue purple and warm rose gold rose so it's like ha too much happening so we shouldn't be adding different colors to it so now i would rather stick to something that would have a same vibe same tone same temperature so here i can use this purple ignite i think it's called um from austrian brand crystals i could go with this one and i can use the same rose shade as i have in my trillions uh, of the basil so i could build a composition like this again as i said it's a radial that means everything is coming out of the um, crystal here so let's uh, again make a sketch so we know what we are talking about every time when i draw something i draw the axis line then i place my focal of course maybe you have more of them so now those radial lines that i was talking about i have this turret it doesn't have a regular shape this more irregular then i have a drop 
shaped crystal sorry drop shaped cap and two crystals I would be placing maybe them like this so here um, I would do some complex bezel for this stone and I would add just some simple bezels be uh, like a peyote bezels to the rest of them uh, first of all of course you need to decide how it's going to be connected with um, how it's going to be worn how you're going to wear it on your neck so um, you need to decide where you're going to attach your chain links and then you need to think about uh, extras what is going to be building your uh, design again you can add something on the top maybe it, again it can be some uh, leaves uh, some beaded extra elements um, I like to add uh, random leaves a lot I think that they are uh, doing a beautiful job uh, adding this uh, complexity to the design uh, if you have some empty spots maybe you have um, I don't know some interesting um, embellishments left from somewhere um, from um, maybe something like the, the design for the earrings some connectors and you can just put them on the top and add extra complexity plus here uh, I think it would also look good if uh, some uh, beaded chains would be added like this maybe sh uh, longer shorter shorter like this so then uh, the composition is more whole it's uh, uh, it has more elements and they must be as neutral as possible beca because you have such a strong color here in the center so I would go really very gentle and plain with the elements surrounding it so this would be our composition and design number two you can see i have many designs like this one this is one of my favorite shapes i think this is like my signature <laughs> shape so i really like this kind of designs let's move to the third one now it's turn for this one for this nice blue bezel and I was thinking about some chrysocolla for it I think it would work beautiful with this one I have this um, irregular shape of the caps I know I have some different ones for example I also have something like this but you know it's too dark it's too heavy now we know it says too heavy it's too big this one is too big so um again look just this beautiful stones oh my god i love them this off whites they are really amazing but not for this project this one is with chrysocolla so here I was thinking that um, focal point will be on the top. It's not like a center as the previous one. It's on the top and everything else drops down. So I was thinking to do with two chrysocolas and maybe to add two crystals, pear shaped crystals. Again, it's uh, my uh, signature shape. I really love pears and I love to work with pears. So here, maybe I could go like this and to fill this blank space in between them, like this maybe. It could be very interesting. So let's make a sketch. I will put this aside like this sketchbook. See, I have a lot of sketches here. <laughs> okay, so we learned already that it all starts with the axis line, my focal, and then I want to build something that moves down, falling down. like this 
okay so again like this okay so again first of all you need to decide how your chain is going to be attached for this one i would go more towards the top because we really don't want this to be the sun center we want this to be a top so everything floats down and here it would be really beautiful if you would be adding some twisted herring bones maybe uh, um, or something like this something wavy um, floating down separate elements something long long leaves long um, maybe uh, some pendants if you have something in your stash maybe also you can use some stick pearls you know those stick pearls like this like this it could also make this perfect match for example if you would place them around like this different size imagine here Because we have this aqua theme, I think that pearls, uh, freshwater pearls, they will look really beautiful if they would be added all the way around like this and all these sizes. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I'm like really excited. I will definitely try this composition because I think it looks really worth my time. So this could be something as a design number three let's move let's move to the next one and of course not everything has to be complex difficult and be combined of some rare material something that is hard to find for example we could do this one very i mean very simple of course not the, the already this one by itself is not simple but for example if you're looking for something more casual if beating like this can be casual but let's say if we want to have some symmetry in the composition if you want something more let's say calm something that we can wear more often let's uh, try this one so of course we have uh, our focal and then you can also add some smaller bezel below it and uh, in this case i'm going to use those beautiful tassels so you can decide which one maybe yellow works uh more calm like i think it's uh really not that demanding and red one again it brings this um power in the color so maybe i could go with this one and then to add some embroidery around this main focal then this one could be added as a bead waving element by itself and then we can build uh, some cup for the uh, tassel and of course it doesn't have to be that long you can also trim it a little bit so let's put it aside and draw the sketch here i will just use the same page again as always we have our axis line then our focal that means our bezel main bezel the big one and here we can do some embroidery it could be round embroidery so you can cut out a round uh, face uh, felt or uh, something that you are using to do the embroidery something that you are used to uh, work with and you can embellish it maybe you can use some different um, sections of beads you can add one size of the beads and then uh, one section could be filled with some pearls again here maybe something added like some bigger elements to break the symmetry of course if you want you can do this symmetrical on all, on all sides so you can do this um like this like maybe straight beads um like this straight lines of beads like this and in between you could fill it with some pearls and maybe with some random different color of the beads and uh, you could also 
build some interesting edge when you're doing the edging stitch then you can uh, also build some interesting chains maybe with some beads on them like bigger beaded beads on them like this and then we are adding this uh, smaller bezel that i showed before as a rivoli one like a smaller one below it maybe connected on some beaded chains maybe with some long bugles so it's a straight line uh, 12 millimeter bugle here is like nine millimeter bugle like direct lines to get more geometrical and then you build some cup for your tassel and then hanging element like this very beautiful and here is also a sample of my jewelry piece that i made out of this variation this is number four let's move to the last one are you ready for the last one let's try something different so this time i'm going to use this color before we were doing these drops and something low elongated we could do the same here we could also play with some bigger shapes um like this maybe it's actually very beautiful cap from maku and since i am talking about maku let's rather do the round one so what if we are building some asymmetrical comp uh, composition combination with the round elements so this could be our element on the top then we have this focal here then maybe to add some a simber side geody maybe or if you have some other round uh, element here i don't have any other but i think this one fits also have the ammonite but i think this one fits better it has this goldish tone since that one has this radish tone and to balance red and gold i will use this volcano uh, rivoli below it so my composition is like this zigzag let's make a sketch Even though my composition is uh, zigzag, I still draw straight line first. This is my axis line. And then I have my bigger cap slightly out of the axis line. Then I have my bezel. Smaller cap, smaller bezel. And then below you can build some drop and then you can add some embellishments you can add some connections you can uh, um, add maybe some leaves again or some crystals uh, some pendants maybe just to make this composition more rich you can add some pearls in between if you like to do the embroidery for example you can do like this darker beads that are following this shape like this and then they come around to this one here and i think it's a very nice idea and you can see the way i designed this type of the pendant from before so this is our idea number five and i hope you got inspired and now you have something to do